What's up everyone? My name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video, I am back with another very Christmassy build um, because yeah, I, I was just in the mood to do something very Christmassy and very cutesy. So that is what I did. So I am building in the more downtown area of Windenburg and I'm building a cafe and it's all Christmas themed. I was literally for the shape of the cafe. I was literally um, taking inspiration from a little miniature building, like a little miniature house that is like part of a tiny little Christmas village. Um, I was taking inspiration from one of those little buildings and obviously it, it ended up looking nothing like that because I just kind of made it my own. Um, but that's what I took inspiration from and I think that it turned out really cute. I really like the diagonal bit that I am uh, working with because it kind of gives like the illusion of a little I don't know, just a little plaza in the front of the building. And I just think that it looks really cute and really, really cozy. And that is definitely what I was going for um, as well. So later on, you'll see that I made it snowy and stuff. Um, but for the overall shape of the building and stuff, I just, I wanted it to be not snowy because, well, this way you can kind of see a little bit better what you're doing because when it's snowy, obviously everything is very white and bright and very cute and pretty, but you can't really see what you're doing all the time. Um, so I'll, I'll just make it snowy a little bit later in the video, which gives it the whole vibe that it's supposed to have. And I just think that it looks really cozy and I'm really excited to actually play with this a lot in my game myself because it works It works nicely. I, um, I play tested it obviously and everything works. Um, so yeah, especially for the Christmas vibes, I think that this is the perfect little cafe for gameplay and I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. I actually ended up, you, you won't see that in the video, but for the screenshots, I actually ended up moving the whole thing to the lot that is right across from this one. So the lot that's right across from this one is the exact same size. It's a, um, it's a 30 by 20, just like this one. Um, just swapped around because the lighting on this one was a little bit difficult to work with. It was really difficult to get sunlight like directly on the front of the building and it made it look a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit sad and I wanted it to look a little bit brighter for the screenshots and stuff. So I ended up moving it to the lot right across from this one and it actually looks better on there as well. Just the whole, I don't know, surroundings of that lot are a little bit more suitable for the cafe. I don't know why, but it just looks cuter on the other lot. So I highly recommend if you want to place this cafe in your own game, just place it down on the lot that is um, right across from this one or somewhere else in a different world even. It doesn't really matter. But I think that it really goes very nicely in, in Windenburg because, yeah, as you can see, I was definitely going for the more Tudor style look and feel. And I think that it turned out very nicely. And I think that that whole style, that Tudor style is very... I don't know, very nice for Christmas bills. It kind of suits the whole vibe of Christmas for some reason, probably because all of those little miniature Christmas villages that you can, that you kind of can find on Pinterest, um, they're all in that Tudor style for some reason. And that's probably why I think it fits so nicely with the whole theme. Um, so that's what I ended up going for. And yeah, like I said a thousand times, <laughs> I'm just really happy with the way that, um, with the the way that this cafe turned out. And I hope you like it too. The inside is definitely very small. I was struggling a lot with the floor plan because the cafe does have a um, an upstairs, so a second story. So um, yeah, I needed to place down a staircase, obviously, to be able to get up there. But the staircase took up so much space. So it was kind of difficult to figure out the whole floor plan and make the stairs work. But I think that in the end, it really, I made it work and it looks really cozy, even though, well, I think because it is so small, it looks really cozy on the inside as well. Um, there won't be any routing issues, at least not when I was play testing it. Um, it was not that busy in the cafe when I was play testing it, but still, I think it should be just fine. Um, so yeah, you'll see that the shape on the inside is definitely a little bit strange because of the whole diagonal bit, but I really like the um, um, the whole chimney thing that I have going on. 
And I actually placed a fireplace on the inside where the chimney is, so that even makes sense. <laughs> I know I don't really usually do that, like I don't really care. I'll place chimneys wherever they look cute on the outside for my bills and then I won't really pay attention to where I place down the fireplace. And I know that that is annoying to some people and I can totally understand it because now that I know that it's sometimes annoying to some people, it annoys me too. <laughs> so these days I kind of always try to um, place down the fireplace according to where the actual chimney is on the exterior. So I did that for this one as well, which actually worked out very nicely. Um, and here I was just having fun with some signs and just some details for the outside of the build and you can definitely really see it come together. I was struggling with the, um, the wallpaper as well, but I didn't record that. I tend to actually never record me finding the right wallpapers because it always takes me forever. Like sometimes, I'm not even kidding, sometimes I'll sit here and spend like half an hour or maybe even 45 minutes on finding the right wallpaper combination and it's it's quite frustrating sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why it takes me that long. I just want it to be perfect. And yeah, it doesn't always work out. But yeah, in the end, I found the right wallpaper situation, combination, and yeah, I think that it turned out really nicely. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that soon I'll be making the whole thing snowy, and I also placed down a huge Christmas tree outside, which I think, which I think looks really, really cozy, and I'm... I don't know. I'm just overall very happy with the whole vibe of this thing. I am so excited for Christmas, if you can't tell. I think that this is like my third Christmas build on uh, on my channel, and I am just so excited for Christmas. I love it so much. Even though, I don't know about you guys, but I, I just, I definitely need some Christmas cheer in my life right now. Um, I don't usually really talk about these things because I tend to keep it positive, and I want my videos to be a distraction, if anything. Um, but the whole pandemic situation, I, I live in the Netherlands and cases are terrible here. And as of today, we are back in lockdown, which sucks. I mean, it's good because it needs to happen because cases need to drop. Um, so we don't really have a choice. But yeah, we are literally back in lockdown. So the stores are closed. Um, the theaters are closed, everything is closed, which sucks because, I don't know if you know this, I've talked about this before, but not too many times, um, but I'm actually in musical theater. I graduated theater school last summer and I was working on a show with my friends, with a couple of my friends, and we were set to perform the show next week, next Tuesday and next Wednesday. And for a while, things were looking good. We, for like, a solid two months, we were actually not even considering that the whole thing would be cancelled. I mean, the chance is, the chance is always there, like, it's always possible, but for some reason, I don't know, it just looked good, so we didn't even really think about it, and then cases, cases started to, to get really bad again, and now we're back in lockdown, so our shows have been cancelled, which sucks, because we were so excited for it, um, Obviously, we graduated in a very, very bad time for for a lot of um, for a lot of people, for a lot of jobs, but especially also for um, for actors and singers. Um, so yeah, we just tried to make the best of the whole situation, and we were actually able to book a theater for a lot less money because you could have like a way smaller audience in there so we could only have like an audience of 25 people which is perfect for us because we don't have that much money yet to like be able to rent out a whole theater like it was perfect for us it was the perfect situation so we were so happy that we were able to actually create a, um, a show a performance and just play perform um but yeah now the whole thing has been cancelled so that sucks it, it's really hard on all of us um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely really difficult and it's the same for a lot of people and and just in a lot of different situations. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I hope that this is not too annoying because like I said before, I usually try to keep it positive. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I needed to or I wanted to talk about this for a second with you guys because yeah, I could definitely use some Christmas cheer and that is why I decided to actually upload this. Um, 
upload this build today because now that I don't have to go to um, rehearsals anymore, I have a lot more time and so I can do a lot more building, which is also an upside because I love building. I am so thankful that I have The Sims in my life as a creative outlet and just as something that I'm so passionate about and that I love so much. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely very thankful that I have this in my life. Um, but yeah, now that we're back in lockdown, I can actually do a bit more billing over the next few weeks and upload a little bit more. So yeah, um, which is why I'm uploading this build today because I actually had it planned for later this week because I thought that I wouldn't have too many videos to upload because I was so busy, but now I'm not busy anymore. <laughs> so there's the upside. Um, I can do more building, more videos, which is also very exciting. Um, but yeah, let me know what your situation is. Where are you in the world? Where do you live? What is the situation for you? What is Christmas going to be like for you? Because, um, for us, it's just going to be me and my boyfriend spending Christmas together at home, which is fine with me. Like, I don't really have a very big family anyways. So, um, yeah, of course, I would love to go and see my family and see his family, but we're not doing that this year. Um, obviously, we're just staying home, just the two of us, and we're going to make the most of it. And I'm actually very excited for it because I think it will be really just cozy, just the two of us. We have a very, very pretty Christmas tree and we have been buying each other presents here and there. So there is a couple of presents under the tree as well. And we'll just cook ourselves some nice food and just, I don't know. We'll just make it cozy, watch a tacky Christmas movie, which we love to do. And I think it will be very, very cozy and just a lot of fun to just be spending Christmas together, even though, of course, we want to spend Christmas with our families, but it's not going to happen this year. So we should just make the most of it, I think, and it will be fine. All will be fine. Like in the end, the whole pandemic will be over at some point. I will be able to perform a show and just go to the theater. And I'm really excited for that. I can't wait for that to happen. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> moving away from that subject for now, um, you can see that I'm, I'm moving on or that I've actually already moved on to the inside of the build. And I just went crazy with the Christmas decor and the Christmas clutter. And I think it looks so cozy in here. I created this like perfect little nook for a Christmas tree inside, which I think is just so nice. It looks so nice right there. Um, so just when you first walk into the cafe, you'll see this nice Christmas tree. And I just think that it's so cozy. Um, and I used a lot of pillars inside and curtains to make it look a little bit more pretty. And I was just hanging some Christmas cards and stuff like that on the walls. Um, yeah, which I think makes it look very cozy. And you can see that I placed the, um, the fireplace right there. And I was struggling a little bit with where to place the tables and chairs because as you can see, it is very small and very cramped in here. Um, so there's not too many tables inside, but there is a couple extra tables outside. And there is also a couple of, or just a nice seating area upstairs as well. But the upstairs area is more of like a game area. I think I placed, a foosball table and a like don't wake the llama table or something that comes with get together so you can play some games up there and then i also place a cozy little couch up there so you can just sit there and hang out with your friends if you want to um, which i think is really cozy and then i also place a couple of bookcases in here because maybe you just maybe you're just sitting by yourself having a cup of coffee and you just want to read a book and um, yeah i think that that would be really cozy and something you can totally do in a cafe like this. Um, Cause I feel like a lot of this cafe would have a lot of regular customers that come here like every day or a couple times a week or so. And for some reason I was also thinking a lot of elderly Sims would come here very often. I don't know why, but it's just kind of the vibe that I was getting from the whole cafe, which I think makes perfect sense because I don't know. I don't know why it makes sense. To me, it just makes sense in my head. I think that it looks very cozy and it would be a perfect little hangout spot for a couple of elderly Sims. Maybe they um, get together in this cafe with their like knitting club or something. Not that knitting is only for elderly Sims because obviously it's not. 
Knitting is actually one of my favorite activities to have my kids sims do. I think it's so cute that the kids can actually do some knitting and I just think it's a really cool hobby for them to have. Um, but yeah, for some reason I can just kind of see elderly sims have a club gathering here in the cafe while they do some knitting, play some games and stuff like that. I just, I just thought that that would be really cute. Um, and yeah, like I said, I play tested the whole thing, so the whole cafe is functional. You can order a, ca a coffee and something to eat, no problem. Your sims can sit down. And then there's also a couple of tables outside, like I mentioned before, um, which I think, I mean, in the winter time, it's going to be a little bit cool to be sitting out there. But at the same time, I think it'd be really fun as well to just buy a coffee inside and then go outside and sit by one of the, um, sit on one of the benches that I placed around the Christmas tree, for example, or just sit outside on the deck area in the snow and just enjoy the wintry cold weather while you're enjoying or like hot chocolate or warm tea or coffee or something. I just, I don't know, for some reason that would be so cozy to me and definitely something that I would do on Christmas day, like just take a stroll through the town go to a cafe, buy yourself a hot chocolate or a coffee and just sit outside in the cold and the snow. I think that that is just so much fun to do and definitely something that I will have my Sims do as well because I don't know, for some reason it just sounds so cozy to me. And I know that I've been overusing the word cozy in this video, <laughs> like crazy, I'm so sorry, but just Christmas and cozy just go together perfectly in my mind. So I, I just, I can't help myself. Um, but this is the Don't Wink the Llama table that I that I talked about before. I never placed that item anywhere ever, but for this cafe, I just thought it was perfect to have this little game area upstairs, which I, I don't really, I don't really create that often because usually when I build cafes, they're more on the modern side of things. So they would be like a workspace or, I don't know, just a more modern place. But this one is definitely not more modern. This one is way more rustic and traditional. And so yeah, a little gaming area would be, or not gaming, but just a game area would be just, would be perfect for a cafe like this. And I also placed down a couple of Christmas cards here and there because I figured since the cafe probably has so many regular customers, those customers would probably also send a Christmas card to the owners of the cafe. I, I thought that that was a really cute idea. So yeah, that's what I went with. And yeah, so I placed a couple extra decorations on the walls here and there. Um, and yeah, a couple extra rugs here and there. And then there's two bathrooms upstairs. They're pretty large bathrooms, but I just kind of wanted to close off those areas to have the floor plan upstairs make the most sense. Um, so yeah, I have two bathrooms in this cafe. They're pretty spacious, like I mentioned, but yeah, they're very nice. And I just, um, they're the exact same bathrooms, just mirrored. Um, so yeah. I think that that makes sense. I think that two bathrooms in a little cafe like this is more than enough. Like, well, maybe not more than enough, but it pr probably should do. Like, I think it's just fine. Um, but yeah, that was actually already it for the inside of the build. So I just placed a couple extra street lights here and there. And then I decided to place that little um, outside store where you can buy like hot drinks. I, I was thinking that maybe that was part of the cafe during winter time. They'll have that little, um, they'll have this little stand outside as well, where you can just buy a hot drink and sit by the Christmas tree and just be outside. I thought that that was really cute. Um, but anyway, that was already it for this build. So I really hope that you enjoyed this speed build. You can definitely go ahead and download the Cafe of the Gallery if you want to. My username on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next build. Bye.